Being high performance is about having world-class processes and world-class people. I feel, I feel honored to have been able to work this many years, 29 years now, with, uh, with the same company. The project we have here in Manassas or in Northern Virginia is a 130 mile loop. Basically, we're putting four conduit in uh, for about 75 miles, 80 miles of that. And then the remainder is all just two pipe, which is directly for fiber light communications. On a typical morning here in Virginia with the, uh, with the project we have, we'll take and uh, go through anything that's come up with a, from the day before that didn't get addressed. And uh, I'll meet a supervisor or two in there occasionally. The supervisor usually on the job starting. I have a everyday call, 8.30 in the morning with our customer that we go through. If we pull the trigger and decide to make a move on Friday. I love what I do and uh, trying to meet expectations that we have in our company and in our customers. High performance uh, teammate at Team Fischl is basically being focused on our operational excellence goals. Uh, we all play different roles in attaining those goals from the management to the admin to the field teammates. We measure every month the, the footage that was placed and by which crew simply because we need to know who who's doing the best in quantity of footage. And then we look at that, and when I say we, Steve Hinton and I look at that, we kind of weigh out, again, go back to the high performance teammates and, and look who's performing better. And that helps us plan for that type of work area. When it comes up again, we plan to move them into that next spot that's similar to the one they just come from. We're able to track that process to see uh, if we're meeting our goals. And at a glance, be able to look and see what we're doing. Basically, to get things started to make sure you try and get started off on the right foot. The fleet group is really an integral part of the high performance team overall at Team Fischl. The vision for our fleet group is to keep our money maker moving in the most efficient manner. Really, the money maker is our equipment along with our teammates. Storm restoration is the restore of power or facilities. And basically what it entails is when there's a natural disaster, could be anything from fire, hurricanes, ice storms, wind storms, tornadoes. It entails putting up new poles, putting up new lines, transformers, communication lines, could be stringing new telephone lines. It's basically the infrastructure of all our communications and utility systems. And we just play a part in that of restoring it to what we consider normal life. We can be on the road in a short amount of time considering uh, the circumstances whenever the call comes. It still sort of gives you chills whenever you see all those teammates in those trucks. We'll have 20, 25, maybe 30 vehicles start pulling out of here at one time in a convoy heading off to, to who knows where and what they're going to see. We can't service our customers and take care of their needs at a high level unless our equipment is up and running when our teammates need it. We track very closely the uptime of our equipment. In other words, how often is our equipment out in the field on a customer job site available for use by our teammates when they need it. Um, that's really the key to managing our equipment, uh, is to make sure that that equipment is up and ready to go for our teammates when they need to use it. It takes a unique individual to do this type of work. And safety is a lot in this. We hold an impeccable safety record. We do everything by the book. We have all the right safety equipment. And we got can-do attitudes in our teammates. You know, there's this concept in, in construction where accidents happen. Once you admit that, you somewhat fail. And uh, that's really, I think, what high performance is at Team Fischl, is believing that accidents don't happen in our industry. When we say accident-free is one of the values of Team Fischl, that, that's what we mean. The, the goal, we have benchmarks in our operational excellence game plan that we set, but the true value or the true goal is to truly achieve accident-free, which is zero accidents. When these storms come in, things are happening and everybody plays a part. We need to make sure that all our resources are in place because it's all about how much we can get done for the customer as long as we're doing it safe.
We're going to go down to the town of Culpeper, which is the furthest southern point of the project. And uh, we've got a couple drills working down there in a very, very critical area for us. Hey, Freddie. Freddie, you got to smile big. You're on camera, OK? Tell me what that thing does. Well, it cleans the water. OK. Cleans the water so we can reuse it, so we don't have to use a vac rig all the time? Good. Does it help you? Yeah, it helps a lot. Has it made your job go better? Having high performance teammates on, on this project that we've had uh, has, been, has been incredible um, in, the, in the sense that we've utilized as many of them as we can to put on this project. We have some of the best of the best here. You coming out of the pole down there, where are you going? Go well, first of all, you had to love your job. You had to love your job. Just like me, I, I love my job. One thing that our customer knows that we're giving them 110% of effort. We have the uh, processes in place that allows us to bring in the resources to meet the customer needs. Um, it's a very demanding um, project that we're on. Uh, it takes a lot of special equipment, a lot of teammates with um, knowledge of all aspects of construction and uh, meeting our customer goals. We've got an outstanding team out here working for us today. Uh, Umberto Santiago and uh, his foreman, Rene Gomez. We've got uh, 86,000 feet of trenching. We've got two miles, three and a half miles to go, and uh, they've met expectations on a daily basis. When I walked out on site to the Victorville job last week and I saw Humberto and uh, Rene and his crew, it was like watching a conductor conduct his orchestra. Humberto was out there, he had given direction, he'd given them the, all the resources that they needed, and Rene was out there conducting this whole symphony that was going on from the trenching up front to the guys laying the pipe to the excavator behind the guys laying the pipe backfilling and compacting to the cleanup crew behind that blading out the road spraying water cleaning up it really was it really was fun to see that my bid that I had put together with a production rate of 2500 feet a day and seeing these guys go out there and perform reaching 3,000 3,500 feet a day it was pretty spectacular I started first of all like a laborer and then I started growing up for the beginning, driver, operator, and then I had the opportunity to, to go for some training. Just learning things every single day, how you schedule, uh, what you did today, what you could do tomorrow, what's going to be done by the end of the week. Always, always on top of it. To become high performance, first of all, the education is key to me. The more I can learn, the more knowledge I can gain and possess the better of value I will be to Team Fischl. The Jeff Keeler Leadership Academy is about accelerating the learning of our leaders for tomorrow. And we want to be in a position that we can grow with the organization and that we have the absolute best talent and the best leaders that our industry has to offer. The training and the leadership that Team Fischl's provided me over the years has been very, very valuable to me. I've always had a desire to be the best at what I do. doesn't matter what it is. I want to be the best that I can possibly be. And uh, Team Fischl provides me that opportunity to be the best in construction anywhere in the country. Growth is very important to me. I would like for my teammates to continually want more, want more responsibilities, uh, want more tasks just like I do. I continue to thrive and I want my teammates to want to develop and grow just as I do. I love to come in the field, think ahead, what can we do to be better than this day? Looking for challenges every day. Pay attention to cost is a big issue. I mean, our job out here is very costly. We need to maintain cost, uh, keep production high. In order to help increase the performance and be the high performance contractor we are, we, we brought in water trucks to fill up our drill trucks, which allows our drill to continue working the whole time. We don't have to shut the water truck and drill truck down to go water up. Well, our culture has always been a, a can-do attitude, and we thrive on challenges. It's about getting out there, winning the work, satisfying their customer expectation meeting and exceeding those benchmarks for safety. Continuing to make sure that the equipment is up and ready. Thinking about the job, what needs to be done to get the project complete. We are the best choice. It makes you feel really good. Um, you look back at the end of the day and you say, 
I did that. And you're proud of it. And it's a, it's great to be a part of, and I'm looking forward to building the rest of it and looking forward to the challenges of the next job.